With the first successful wash done of the Hotpoint 9530W Electronic 1000 Plus, it's time to do a detergent trial. We're trialling out some Dreft and Downy, a combination from America. Dreft is uh, recommended by Pampers because it's a baby detergent, very similar to Tesco Love's Baby. Downy is an American version of um, that's the norm. So, keep yourselves tuned in, wash in HD because you are washing Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in honour of the original Supreme Florence Ballad, the Shirelles and Hoover's first 1100 RPM automatic, the A3060 electronic 1100. <laughs> So I'm not going to mess around too much, I'll get loading. I guess I'm wearing the famous bowler's hat, if you want to have a laugh. So, this video is also dedicated to people who don't like towels being mixed together. So I am doing a load of white towels only, um, mainly because as well, this machine is in a portion of the kitchen where lighting isn't the best. So even though it's sunny outside, it's still dark in here, white towels will show up better. And I think white towels in a white, sort of white machine look the best. So there we go, I've just got some mainly large bath sheets. Put that one in there and a little flannel. I'm not going to do a pre-wash, we're going to go straight into the main wash. So for this one, I've got in the lime scale detergent, well, lime scale, the scaler tablet, on the drum rim. Of course, I must do first impressions of the detergent. Now we've already used the Downy Ultra Infusions. This is um, Botanical Mist, yeah. Basically it's the American version of the Lenore Par From The Secrets. Um, we have used this when I did the washing with Spencer. So this actually is similar to the mystery one that I have by Lenore. Now the Dreft, um, for those who do a lot of detergent shopping, all will remember my past videos before I went to Australia. You'll all remember that I was obsessed with the detergent from Tesco called Tesco Loves Baby. It was their own brand detergent for babies or people with sensitive skin. It was, had a very retro smell to it, like an 80s bowl detergent. Nothing smelled better than that coming out of the drawer on a boil wash. I was sad to know when I came back to the UK they discontinued it about three months before that. You can buy it on eBay but it's like £20 for a box and I'm like no way. So I got this from America, it's Dreft and it's recommended by Pampers. It does have a sort of vintage smell to it but I haven't actually opened it properly so we're going to do that here. I don't get how these are meant to open to be honest because it's got a very weird way that it opens. Um, sort of do it from here. Hmm. You also might notice it's written in Spanish. Uh, that's for people in Mexico that come over. I don't know if this opens like a old shaker one or what do you do? There must be some American washer guys watching this and absolutely laughing because I have no idea how to... <sighs> you know what, I'm just going to open it the normal way. You do it from the top. Were well, you going to catch my first reaction to the, the fragrance of it? Oh, I can smell it. All right. Oh, we have a plastic scoop. Um, quite a different one actually to what we've normally got from detergents. And let me just pop this last tab. Right, so it's clear white as most detergents are. Bloody hell do we get a big scoop. Um, size of that? 
comparison to the door, it's like pretty big. I'm going to take a little fragment of this. Hmm. If I had to say what that smells like, it smells like Johnson's baby lotion is what it actually smells like. Um, or the antiseptic wipes you get. Well, not antiseptic, baby wipes in a way. That's really strange. Uh, okay, you know, hands down, it's not as nice as Tesco Loves Baby, but it's enriched and it's more stronger than our detergents. It's what I have noticed from American detergents and, and Australian ones. Mainly American ones are actually stronger with their scents than we are. Um, and also we know that American detergents um, get more sudsier. Uh, same with Australian ones because I believe it's because they have to work at colder temperatures or higher temperatures. I think it's higher temperatures because top load is filled with hot water. Uh, as you know, enzymes are denatured at around 37 degrees. Which is why you don't see in hot water filled machines like this. Although I only use Purcell on this route, so Purcell has low suds. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how this handles it. So, let's load the detergent in and the conditioner and we'll get started. Okay, let's add it in. Um, I don't know if I'll do a full scoop, we'll see how far it takes us. Because we do know the powder compartment on 9.5s are very... Oh, that's fine. <coughs> so now for a full load. <coughs> and here comes the conditioner, the downy infusions. Um, again, with American detergents we find them and conditioners, we find them to be a little thicker in their consistency than our ones. Um, the Suavitol was an example of that that we used. I believe Luke's still got that actually. <clears throat> okay. So for our program, we probably know what cycle we're going to choose. Our white towel wash. Is obviously going to go on program one, my favourite. 85 degrees Celsius white cotton, none of the options to be selected. Without further ado, I'll pull the camera back and we can start. And um, so, with this machine, the motor's fine, as many have pointed out by the first video. Um, the only defect with this machine is, is that the right hand side shock absorber needs replacing, the one on this side, which is what is causing that awful racket when the machine is spinning. So you may notice the drum bounces around a bit more, as well as the machine probably shakes about a little more than it should. Um, I am looking to replace them soon, I've just got to find some genuine spare parts. Um, I have pointed out that Although I'm very, now, although I'm very fussy about my machines looking original, I'm not all fussed. This machine has got a 95X4 dial on there, a 1988 version dial, which is identified by the red number six, not the white one. So I'm happy to keep that on there. The pump on this is weird. It sounds WM range at times. Other times it screams 95 series. Um, you might have also noticed. The hose is no longer there. We've plumbed the machines into a Y piece at the back and they go into the sink. Um, the only downside is though is I don't think Alan thought that the water siphons into the meter at times, we've got to fix that. But the machine chugs when she, when she pumps out. So she is going to be in public use. Washer crazy if you hear that. Same with the A3060 actually. We have actually got a, rub, a black rubber hose for that machine, thanks to Chris. Rubber seal I don't think we're going to find just yet, so... <coughs> we'll see how the machine performs with that hose. So yes, they are suitable for washings, but the 9530W is going to go into storage after this, because I can't keep using the machine with the worn shocks. That's the lime scale tablet doing that. Yeah. 
Okay, that's the first. Now that water hasn't been heated up. I never purge the water before I um I never purge the water before um before obviously starting the machine because I like the machine to fill with as cold water as possible. Well obviously lime scale free because I like the heat to energise itself. The more the heater works, the more lime scale it kills off. So that water is only about 30 degrees. I'm going to get some sun now. So, um, Velascovidius, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. You'll be happy to see this video. I'm doing a white towel wash. <coughs> Apologies to my cough, I have been down with a cold. Mm. Time to reset. Interesting, really. Most of these towels actually are clean. I've just pulled them out of the air and because I wanted a load of white towels to do. stage to 85 degrees Celsius and that's the proper water level of the machine you're seeing there. So um, comment below if you're happy that I'm trying new things you know I'm trying to make a bit of a change on my channel now where I mean I'd always stick to my washing habits you know all my towels go on a boil wash and what not, but like, you know, trying to wash white towels on their own and yeah, you know, we'll try different things like that. Um, we might even try one day when I wash something of mine on a synthetic cycle, because I want to try a synthetic cycle on this, even though I know what it's about. But yeah. I might do when we eventually bring the cassetta back onto the channel, I said for a few months I'm going to leave the chat machine off because we've done quite a few videos. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do. I'm going to do a green wash where I do light and dark green stuff in the machine to correspond with the colour. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll try that. See what happens. So yeah. <clears throat> um, there will be a video in the Miele coming next. Um, trialling out my bedding. Really dirty bedding I've got because I've been ill. <laughs> you know, and you know, I've been for a while. I've potentially dropped some food on my bed bedding, which I'm changing tonight. I'm going to try out some Sainsbury's one pound biological bar. I heard it's meant to be very good, so we'll see how good that is in the meal. And then we'll run all the other machines through it. We're looking good and we're at 85 degrees Celsius. I only took them out of about 20, not even 20, yeah, about 20 minutes to heat that up. So you can see the suds are becoming more active at this temperature. Um, weirdly, this machine doesn't steam from the drawer for some reason. Might be because the 
machine's got a later 9.5 style draw housing, I don't know. Time of reset. Distribution drain. So, not gushing into the sink. Now the motor gets a little bit giddy. And first rinse. 30 second or short rinse. So, so far that performed very well on the main wash. Uh, kept salty even at 85 degrees Celsius after three, well, two heat retaining stages actually. First intermediate spin, let's see what happens. I'm expecting quite a big sun top. But we're smooth. going to storage after this wash. You'll get another subtle one for us there. Shimmy the machine shimmy the but
it well, let's be honest. wash back in but let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. The motor doesn't seem to like going anti clockwise. Might need to look at the carbon brush and see if they're wearing down. Lots of dying down though. worse than our almond counterpart. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's come out quite a bit. I blame that on the fact the machine's wheels are a lot more free on this. <sighs> that nearly went for the unit. I also blame the shock absorbers for that as well though, because never seen a nullify so violent in my life. I do blame the shock absorbers. Anyway, um, third rinse.
well. So, since we're doing the job, roll third rent so we do not spin. And then, we'll see how the um, conditioner affects that. handle pretty well. Um, I only moved forward by about half a centimetre. I was expecting the drum to probably bang the side of the machine a little bit though. Um, once the bulk of the water's out, especially with towels, the load's not that unbalanced anymore. <coughs> so that zoom, zoom, zoom sound you can hear, that creaking, that's the shock absorbers. Um, normally the load wouldn't be that unbalanced, it takes quite a lot to get the suspension in these panels in this range of the 9.5s to move that much. Yeah, so I <clears throat> admit it, I am a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to the 9.5s. <coughs> I love them but I don't like being near them when they spin. Especially like that. I don't want to do any more stress to the machine, so I just wanted to get another video out because I love you guys so much. And I know you want to see more. She's painful today. Maybe she doesn't want to go and stop it. Springs never twang. Final rinse with Downing Fusions Ultra. Final rinse with Downing, and um, let's see how the rinsing turns out. Because I think I think the rinse trumpets handle um, high efficiency detergents very well. I don't know if that's a HE one. Yes, it is. Um, be interesting to see what the A3060 does with this, or the Cassata as well. Cassata will probably have a nightmare of a subplot with that thing. Um, we'll probably use some dark towels with that. But yeah, this seems to be clearing up quite well.
Well, Sven, what do you think about the... Um, the top bus before the machine starts driving? Come on, be smooth. I don't want to get a hammering. Oh, oh my god. Nice. We need a smooth final spin because I can't... Good. Because we can't have the machine hammering the shots up now. Hopefully the machine makes it down to distribute. Oh, the back of the drum's covered up. <laughs> Hopefully make it down to distribute. Can you hear the chugging? Can you tell me, does that sound like a WM range pump or is that a 95? I can't tell. Famous hot point spin. more stabler. But I wouldn't say the same for the machine.
all done. Right, it's time to unload and check the results. So, number one, I'll show you something before I unload the drum. See how that doesn't leave any water in the conditioner compartment, whereas other Hot 95s and WMs tend to do that. This never does it. So as you can see, we've got a pre pretty bouncy drum, it shouldn't really be able to do that. So, take one of these out. Now, that's definitely got a stronger scent. Um, I can smell the detergent a little bit, but the conditioner seems to have taken over. Um, I don't know if that's maybe something it's meant to do, maybe the detergent isn't meant to smell as much, I don't know. Maybe for babies or something. But um, overall, these have come out feeling softer than they would do with like Persil or I've also got Fairy Tablets um, or that Surf um, Coconut that my mum uses because um, I've done a couple of washes with that in the Miele. Um, but I have to say, that's. Yeah, really, really done um, a good job. That has, um, so we did quite a large amount of towels, <clears throat> and for a 1000 RPM spin they come out um, like that. Now of course, bearings are fine, but yes, you can see that there's a lot of movement in that drum. I shouldn't really be able to do. Um, so we're gonna, I've already shut the hot water off the machine, the machine's gonna go in storage, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, I don't think I'll bring the A3060 out because that machine's already had a bit. I may bring the Cassata out, but I'm not yet gonna do any videos of the machine. We're gonna focus on the Miele. Um, and I don't know what else I might focus on, really. Um, it would be good if I could head to a normal direct just for a, a, the fun of it, really. Um, well, I'll see. See what other ones I can film. But yeah, we'll see what we can do. So I wanted, to, I wasn't going to use the machine, knowing the shock absorbers were bad. But I know you guys would have wanted to see something else of the 9530W because we've all missed having an i5 on this channel. I would do other videos, but I just don't want to risk it with this machine. Um, um, so, yeah, that, and I'm not bored about the dial, really. I'm just happy the machine's working, to be honest. So, yeah, we will send this machine into the shed. Might do it tonight, we'll see. Um, but if not, then we'll do a video on the Miele next, and that's going to be the um, the Miele's going to do the same three biological detergent with my bedding, and we'll see how that works. So, also, I'll add something else that I'm changing about the channel. You might have been shocked by the previous video to this that I finally uploaded a video of a tumble dryer. Um, unfortunately, I don't get I don't have a dryer here at home, and probably won't do until I move out to my own house. We want the matching one to this, or the Almond one, to the 9530A, but we got no storage room here. Let's shut my phone off for a second. Um, I did get Chris's one, and I will do videos of any other dryers I may use at wash-ins, because I don't know anyone with a tumble dryer. So, as long as I can get 10 minutes of footage or more of it, then I can upload it. Um, if I had one at home, I would do a sleep aid video where you just have the white noise of a tumble dryer going for like three hours or so, but unfortunately I don't. But the closest I'll get is if I get a washer dryer. I have got my own ones that I want, but unfortunately nothing yet. i got to free up the 95308A first. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing Shirley on the channel twice. Um, twice doing towels and a boil wash, but hey, I wanted to make sure... The 9530A was meant to be the first machine to use Draft, but because we got the 9530W, I thought, use this machine for it. So we'll see how the Miele deals with that at one point. We got all machines to do detergent trials in. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Yes, got the hat on. And don't forget to keep it supreme and 
Go with the flow.